Meanwhile in Cuba, nuclear weapons were being installed from the Soviet Union. Eventually these missiles were spotted, and immediate attention was needed. The U.S. can't afford to have nuclear missiles pointed at them, so President Kennedy ordered a naval blockade of Cuba to stop the Soviets from getting in. Robert Wolfe, a Navy SEAL, waited at Cuban docks while America waited in agony for 14 days, expecting a nuclear disaster, but the Soviets turned back after they figured they couldn't get in. Kennedy and Khrushchev agreed that missiles would be taken back if American spies would leave Cuba. After a long and certain couple of weeks, Wolf went back home to West Virginia, where he was greeted by family.